All right, I'm here with Carl. Carl is one of the two new owners of the Cosmotrons game. And we're going to do a quick interview here and give you guys a little update. So, Carl, why Cosmotron? Why did you decide to make this your first project in this field? Well, it's real simple. I found Cosmotrons in 2017 at the Midwest Gaming Classic. Uh, when I went to, I've been going to the Midwest Gaming Classic for years. When I walked in in 2017, Cosmotron was one of the first games I saw uh, with then owner uh, Shane Guprone. And hit it off with Shane. Uh, it was just me and my dad. We talked with Shane for a little bit. Uh, ended up playing the game forever uh, that night. It seemed like for hours. And at that point, the game was in its very, very, very early stages. And frequently, I remember. Uh, the game kept crashing, coming with error codes, but Shady would start it right back up. We'd all play, and just loved it. Uh, there were ships that ships that were not existent then that exist now. There were other maps, uh, and but the, the visuals, the gameplay, everything I just loved. So that kind of stuck with me since then. So what were the original ships? Because I don't even know that. Everything I, I believe everything that there is now, but the noob. Oh. The noob didn't exist for... That was the end, addition. Yeah, until a year or two after that. That makes sense. Well, the noob's a good addition to bring in beginners, because that definitely takes away from the learning curve. A little bit. Massive learning curve. And I, I remember at the time the first ship I played was the Jalopy, which most people would advise new players not to play, because it's a really hard ship, but... Yeah. For whatever reason, I couldn't get a hold of any of the other ships, and I flew Jalopy for those hours of playing that day, and just got a hang of it. I've pretty much stuck with it up until very recently. I've tried to been learning other ships, but the Jalopy's still by far my favorite. Yeah, I've seen you playing the Snipes a lot. What is it about yeah. the Snipes, huh? That, well, I, that you're picking that one. I changed to the Snipes uh, maybe a year ago because I found that I could not aim good with the Jalopy. I can fly fine. And it was great because the Jopley has that uh, fuel preservation and it has a decent amount of bullets where yeah. I, as long as I kept myself alive and didn't crash, I could kind of spam bullets and come out okay. But then I played people like you and other people at MGC that wouldn't miss a shot and I said, well, I can't defend myself against that. So I thought the best way for me to practice aim was with the sniper. So I just played sniper for a long time to try to learn how to aim. Yeah, but you did beat me in that big tournament. Yeah, close. It was close. It, was, uh, it doesn't get any closer. Well, the Snipes is a great ship. I think it's like hard to hit because it's so narrow. But it has that secret weapon of shooting through walls, and no other ship has that. So I can see why you're trying to get good with it. Yeah, it's a nice it little... It has an advantage. It's got that one up on everybody else. I started with the Beast, and then I started playing against my buddy Mason, who was picking the Jalopy, and I couldn't beat him anymore. I said, okay, well... Obviously, the jalopy is the way to go, and I flew that one ever since. But yeah, yeah I, I met Shane in a, in a weird fashion, too. It was a, I discovered the game out in Madison at Geeks Mania with Mason. When, when we found it, we played it for, I want to say it was like six hours straight. Just hooked on it right away. And immediately, I went home, and I said, I got to have this game. So I went on a hunt, and I figured out that... The person, or one of the people that made this game, lived within 30 minutes of me. So I reached out to him, and I met him, and uh, he's actually a school teacher over at Kettle Marine, and he taught, uh, he taught our son TJ, too. He was actually one of his students. Really? So it, was, it was a small world type of thing, incident. But uh, that's how I ended up with my game. Shane reached out to me once, and he said, hey, I got this extra game. I wonder if you're interested in renting it. And I'm like, hmm. Well, I don't know. It sounds pretty fun, but how much do you want for it if I just buy it? So that's what happened. I just bought it. It's a prototype too. I'm pretty proud of that one. But that's how this this whole gaming club formed. Is from me getting that game, and it started out in my garage, and from there we had, we built this whole rec room around that and the pool table and the computer. That's that's where we're all at with it. But it's been a lot of fun so far. These tournaments. So. How's the progress going on the Steam release, the online multiplayer version of this game? Yeah, so for those that don't know, Cosmotron started its life as an arcade game. And like Tim said, he found it at Geeks Mania, an arcade in Madison, Wisconsin. It's in arcades across the U.S., but it is not 
at least right now, uh, available online or there's no sort of online multiplayer or anything like that. And that's what me and my business partner, Kyle, are attempting to do. Um, we've been working on it since roughly March of last year. Progress is ongoing. Um, I can't say much about the programming aspect or that sort of thing because that's Kyle's portion of what he does. What I can say is progress is, there is progress, it's being worked on, and we hope, uh, no, not giving any dates, but hopefully sooner than later we'll have a time when um, somebody could purchase the game on Steam uh, and invite their friends on like they would in any other game at any time and play Cosmotrons just like you'd play it in the arcade, but online at any time. Right. So is this still possible that this gets released this year? It's, it's possible. All right. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it. I can't wait for the world to discover this game. This, in, in my opinion, this is the best arcade game ever made. So competitive and so fun. Never heard so many people scream. <laughs> it's it always is, intense. It is fun. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping with uh, our goal with the online Steam release is that people can share that sort of energy uh, like they have in the arcades, but online, and they have an opportunity where friends can come together without having to meet at an arcade, or potentially pay for the continued arcade. You know, every time you go to an arcade, you have to pay, whether that's quarters or a, a wristband type thing, yep. um, where they could get on in the morning or get on after school or after work or whatever, get on with each other and play a few games or play a lot of games. That's the other beauty about Cosmotrons is it's not a game you have to dedicate an hour to play. You could get on and play one match of Cosmotrons in a maximum of 10 or 15 minutes. Yeah. And you'll be done with the game. And you can get back on. Well, I've already been playing the game for years. So for me, online doesn't change a huge amount. But what I'm really looking forward to is more people discovering it and having more people to play again. I think that's where the fun's really going to come in and the addition for me. And hopefully more people to show up to a tournament, too, in real life. That's what we hope, too. We hope that uh, we love putting on tournaments. We had a tournament this year in April in Milwaukee at Midwest Gaming Classic. We had an, uh, an in-person tournament in August of last year at 2DCon in Minnesota. And who knows if, there's, if, uh, if the game gets released or even before the game gets released and there's enough interest, we'll have tournaments real life tournaments in person and other places too. We're based out of Wisconsin. Club Underground is in Wisconsin. But uh, a lot of us are more than willing to travel to other states if the interest is there just because we love the game that much and we'll make a trip out of it. Club um, Underground is where we're at now for anybody watching. And uh, we're, we're near Waukesha, Wisconsin. And we host these tournaments quite often. So check that out on Facebook. Uh, look up the Club Underground on Facebook and a couple of YouTube videos you can check out too. So, are there any game changes being planned? Like, um, maybe to the ships, addition of maps, maybe different game modes, anything that you guys have planned or, or ideas maybe of things that you would like to change in the future? Would that be like with the Steam release or, or maybe after? So our main goal with the Steam release is to allow people from across the world to be able to experience Cosmotrons as it is right now. Which in our mind, is a game that we've loved and we think is fairly balanced between the ships, the maps are fun, and that sort of thing. Now, will there be changes with the online version? Initially, slightly. Just in the, in the nature that it's now an online game, so you need a slightly different UI. You know, what kind of game mode do you want? Are you going to do multiplayer online? That sort of thing. No, like, gameplay changes. Slight UI changes are, of course, planned just by the nature, like I said, of I the see. new setup. Yeah. Now, if we're talking new ships and that sort of thing, not at release. Is it possible in the future? Absolutely. Um, as for maps, are we planning new map additions? What I'll say is not at release, but there's certainly, I, I shouldn't use the word certainly so hard in this interview, the game that I interviewed. Our plan is. Um, what we would like to see is that in the future after game release is yes, different maps being uh, made and released. Potentially there's already a map in the game that was community designed 
that's uh, divide and conquer. We would love to have more of that in the game at some point where the community comes together and drafts their own map and it gets implemented into the game. Yeah, that's a fun map, too. I like that one. Okay, well, I got one more question for you. Who do you think is the best Cosmotrons player that we know of right now? From all the tournaments you've seen, from every, everybody you've seen play, who do you think is the best? Does Shane count? I think he does. Can I count Shane? Yeah. He's got to be up there. I agree. If, if, it's, if Shane is not the top, he is definitely top two or three. He is. So if you guys ever get a chance to play against Shane, go ahead and beat him for me because he's a tough one to beat. I'd put my money on him probably. Yep, I, that's where I'm putting it. All right. All right, well, thanks for talking with me. No problem. Looking Thank forward you. to this release. Me too.